मॉड्यूल में हम बात करेंगे एग कलेक्शन के हवाले से दैट हाउ वी कैन प्रोसीड फर्दर टू जनरेट द ट्रांसजेनिक माइस एंड फॉर दैट पर्पस द फर्स्ट स्टेप वुड बी कलेक्शन ऑफ द एग्स फ्रॉम द डोनर फीमेल एडवांस में हमें इसकी कुछ प्रेपरेशन करने की ज़रूरत है जितने भी रिएजेंट्स की बात की मीडिया की बात की रिएजेंट्स एंड सप्लाइज में वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर दैम इन एडवांस वी नीड टू प्रिपेयर द डी एन ए फॉर इंजेक्शन इन एडवांस दैट वॉज क्लोन और एनी सैम्पल विच यू वॉन्ट टू इंजेक्ट एंड क्रिएट द ट्रांसजेनिक माइस फॉर दैट पर्पज वी नीड टू प्योरीफाई द डी एन ए आफ्टर रिस्ट्रिक्शन डाइजेशन and uh, after linearizing if any plasmid to the electrophoresis and electro illusion then purification is done using phenol chloroform method extraction is done and purification is done total dry this dna and then resuspend the dna in the dna injection buffer at a concentration of 1 microliter per milliliter ye jo concentration hai और ये जो बफर है दैट इज मैंडेटरी अदरवाइज वी मे हैव सम प्रॉब्लम विद डी एन ए तो वी नीड टू डायल्यूट और वी नीड टू प्रिपेयर आवर डी एन ए इन टू द डी एन ए इंजेक्शन बफर एंड बिफोर यूजिंग इट वी नीड टू सेंटिफ्यूज इट सो एज इफ देर एनी काइंड ऑफ कंटेमिनेटिंग पार्टिकल्स वी कैन गेट रिड ऑफ दैम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट स्टेप्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू प्रोसीड फर्दर for transgenic mice production first one is going to be about the egg collection for egg collection we need to prepare the female mouse that can start the ovulation for that purpose we are going to time ovulate the female and for that particular process we need the mares serum to be injected intraperitoneally five units are injected intraperitoneally and uh, 100 microliter in volume is injected ab is injection ka ek time hai that we need to observe that is 12 hour before the mid point of the dark cycle you have decided which is the dark cycle at which time point is the dark cycle and at which time point is the light cycle so this is serum should be injected 12 hours before the midpoint of the dark cycle and let these animals be there free for 48 hours in the cages after 48 hours we need to inject 5 units of human chorionic gonadotropin again 100 microliter is injected and following the injection we need to house this female with one breeding male overnight and next day what we are going to do we need to select those females which have a vaginal plug within 3 hours of the onset of light cycle vaginal plug means the uh, the female mated with the male and the ovulation process is started these females female mouse they are sacrificed 16 hours after the midpoint of previous dark cycle so midpoint of previous dark cycle within the 16 hours we need to sacrifice them we need to remove their oviducts in whitens medium in a sterile culture dish and then that particular sterile culture dish and medium should be at the room temperature or should be acclimatized with the temperature of the working area or of the of the room and we need to transfer those ovaries which are removed from the host from those females to whitens medium in a second dish after washing with the whitens medium now we have to open up the ampullae of the ovaries using the watch maker forceps the watch maker forceps they have very pointed end ends and we can open up the ampullae by simple teasing motion and we can take out the fertilized eggs or follicles that contains the fertilized eggs as well as the embryos which are surrounded by cumulus covering this cumulus covering and embryos they are placed in a 
five centimeter plate in the whitens medium. That whitens medium contains the hyaluronidase enzyme. This hyaluronidase enzyme is responsible to degenerate the cumulus and it takes about five to ten minutes. Cumulus degeneration is mandatory because once the cumulus is degenerated, all the eggs or fertilized eggs or the embryos they are released in that uh, whitens medium and we can pick and choose those eggs or the fertilized eggs. We can monitor this cumulus degeneration under the dissecting microscope and once the degeneration process is complete we need to wait for another five minutes so that the eggs can lose their stickness. Once this process of collection of eggs is completed then we can proceed further for the transfer of eggs using the modified pasture pipette just like a dropper which picks up these eggs and we can proceed further for the transfer of these eggs into uh, for the process of uh, micro injection of the DNA.